Last Saturday, an estimated 700 people gathered at Vermilion Cliffs National Monument to see four endangered California condors take their first flights in the wild. The event was a return to form after releases were canceled during the 2023 season due to bird flu, which killed about 21 condors. The Peregrine Fund's California Condor Program Director, Tim Houck, discusses. We were reeling. We were hurting a little bit. We had the avian influenza that uh, killed 21 of our birds in just three weeks, and it was incredibly impactful. Uh, we all felt it. This scheme felt it. And the population felt it. So this is an opportunity to get back out here with you all, the public who make all this possible, and celebrate National Public Lands Day and the condor release and add four more birds to the population. So I'm really excited to be here. I hope you are, team. The four young condors were identified as 1209, 1213, 1236, and 1221. Brianna Bodie, a condor biologist with the Peregrine Fund, said that condor 1221 is also known as Milagra, the miracle chick. Milagra's mother died of bird flu, leaving her father to incubate her egg alone. So he was very slowly starving himself to death in a cave with potential for infection with a deadly disease. So we intervened and Aaron Rannan, actually one of the longtime crew members who also works with Search and Rescue, propelled in and they grabbed the egg, removed it from him so that he had the chance to go and feed himself, brought it down to our partners in Liberty Wildlife, who incubated the egg to hatch, and then brought the chick up to our program in Idaho, where we have our condom breeding program. And she was paired with a mentor and a foster parent, and she has been hanging out with them and is back with us to be headed out for her first flight today. Condor 1209 was the last bird to fly following 1213, 1236, and Milagra. To learn more, read the full story online. This is Alicia Lundgren reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.